what is intuition and how does it work? Intuition, it's a subconscious process and it allows us to make quick decisions and judgments without relying solely on logic or any kind of conscious reasoning. It works by tapping into our past experiences, emotions, and instincts in order to help us navigate situations and make choices based on a deeper level of understanding that we're not even necessarily aware of. Intuition is often referred to as that gut feeling or inner knowing, and it's a powerful tool that guides us in our life's journey. And sometimes this guidance comes in the form of a soul sign, a mysterious sensation that just seems to appear out of nowhere, carrying deep meaning and significance. Like you can feel it. You can feel the vibe. In this episode, we're going to explore the language of intuition and delve into the process of interpreting your soul signs. Welcome to the Soul Sign Podcast. Hey there, I'm Gabrielle, your podcast hostess and the creator of the Mighty Zen Wellness brand. Now, in case we haven't met yet, I want to give you the too long, don't listen story of how all this came to be. Now, I've experienced one too many traumatic events in my life. And for decades, I've battled awful feelings emotionally and physically surrounding all of it to the point of becoming air quote frozen. Yes, that was a doctor's diagnosis. It all was literally weighing me down and locking me up. And I was living in severe physical pain. And when you're in pain, most journeys start at a doctor's office. Mine did for sure. And after lots of tests and exams, no one could actually determine the source of all this pain beyond spinal degeneration. And that was the end of that. I went on to pretty much just give up hope that Physically, I would ever feel better, which led to deeper depression and increased anxiety. Instant that I started to make my time for Zen, I was able to begin working on nurturing my mental physical connection. And Mighty Zen was born out of a frustration and a desire for high quality wellness products that help heal the effects of stress, trauma, triggers, and chronic pain as well as empowering oneself with ways to soothe their mind and body in the sanctuary of their own home. I believe wellness and healing from trauma should be a soulful experience. And that as women, the only thing we should be choosing to wing is our eyeliner, not our lives. And that's where soul science comes in. This is a podcast about how those little soulful hints can do wonders for your well-being leading you too on a journey of rewriting your stories of adversity into narratives of strength. And with Mighty Zen by your side, I know we can make it more soothing and accessible than ever to help you take care of yourself emotionally and physically. Your body and mind are connected in truly remarkable ways and you deserve to discover all this and live your best life however you define that. Now, I know I'm not the only one who has experienced those moments of clarity when a sudden thought or feeling seems to come from a place beyond our conscious mind. It's as if the universe is whispering directly to us, providing guidance and insights that we couldn't access through logical thinking alone. I have a tendency to call it divinely protected and blessed. Intuition, it's this universal language understood by people from all walks of life. Whether you're an artist seeking inspiration, a business person making important decisions, or simply someone navigating the ups and downs of everyday existence, intuition can be your trusted ally. Interpreting soul signs requires us to cultivate a sense of awareness and openness. It's about tuning into the subtle whispers of the universe and paying attention to the synchronicities that unfold around us. But how do we interpret the messages that our intuition sends our way? How do we decipher the meaning behind the soul signs that appear in our lives? Well, that's what we're going to dive into today. 
So let's talk about understanding soul signs for healing. These gentle messages from the universe, our soul, guide our spiritual journey. Understanding these signs is pivotal for personal growth, especially during uncertain times, as they establish a connection to your intuition and your higher self. Recognizing and interpreting them can be a soulful and empathetic process that fosters resilience and healing. Trusting your intuition is the first step. The impact on life decisions is profound, often guiding major choices and prompting us to consider the consequences of ignoring them. Nurturing intuition is always an ongoing process that involves improving intuitive capabilities through various methods, which ultimately aids you in being able to interpret your soul signs better. So what exactly is a soul sign? These are these mysterious feelings, whispers for coming from your inside, from your soul, that just speak to you through these subtle sensations and synchronicities. And they can take many forms. A sudden chill down your spine, a reoccurring dream, a random encounter. These signs can act as little nudges, urging us to pay attention and consider their deeper meaning. While seemingly random, they can carry profound messages that hold keys to your personal growth and spiritual alignment. By learning to recognize and interpret them, you can open yourself up to a whole new level of understanding and connection with yourself and how you interact with the world around you. Then what is the connection between soul signs and intuition when it comes to trauma healing? Well, soul signs and intuition, they're intricately connected as the former often acts as intuitive nudges, those little vibes, those whispers, like you can just feel it, whether it's positive or negative, trying to help guide you on your path. And when we pay attention to these signs and trust our intuitive insights, we can strengthen that bond with our intuition even further. Understanding and interpreting these soul signs enhance our ability to tap into that inner wisdom deepening our connection with ourselves. And by embracing the language of intuition, we embark on this journey of spiritual alignment, personal alignment, where we can become these beacons um, leading you towards your true purpose and what you really want out of your life. When it comes to childhood trauma and the risk of any future trauma, it is important to acknowledge that trauma symptoms, especially childhood trauma, can have a profound impact on our ability to recognize and interpret your soul signs. Early traumatic experiences can shape our perception of the world and do influence our sensitivity to those subtle messages that the soul might be sending you. However, healing from childhood trauma and the effects of trauma, such as through somatic experiencing, journaling, meditation, can help open up receptivity to these messages as trauma survivors may experience heightened intuition linked to those past experiences. There are multiple avenues of treatment available for people experiencing from short or long-term trauma symptoms, and it is crucial to support your trauma healing, if applicable, and process your traumatic stress and ultimately foster a deeper connection with your intuition. Now, everyone encounters soul signs. As we navigate through life, sometimes when we least expect them, sometimes when out of the blue, uh, sometimes we wanna ignore it and sweep it under the rug. But these signs are there to serve as gentle reminders of that guidance, your soul guidance, and encouraging you to pay attention, reflect, and embrace the messages that they're carrying. So how do you recognize a soul sign? Recognizing one requires tuning into our emotional and mental states and become aware of those subtle ways in which they're communicating with us. Paying attention to synchronicities, those meaningful coincidences that seem to align perfectly and learn how to recognize them. Heightened awareness of our surroundings, both the natural world and human interactions can help us learn to spot those messages. A deep sense of peace, often accompanies the recognition of a soul sign, a feeling of connection and alignment that can't be ignored. 
It may be accompanied by a sense of inner knowing and intuitive understanding of the message being conveyed. So how do you decode soul signs? Decoding them involves interpreting them in the context of our life events, situations, and emotions. Patience and contemplation are essential as we unravel the meanings of these signs and allow them to fold naturally as they be. It is important to embrace the vulnerability and authenticity as misinterpretations may arise from limited self-awareness or viewing the signs through a lens of fear and doubt. By delving deeper into ourselves, we can rectify these misinterpretations and gain more clarity through introspection, emotional healing, and self-reflection. This process of decoding soul signs, it really does become an art, fostering spiritual awakening and a continuation of that deeper understanding of yourself. When it comes to common misinterpretations and their corrections, well, misinterpreting soul signs happens to everybody. It's just natural. But awareness of your common pitfalls can help you navigate this process more authentically. Common misinterpretations may stem from a limited self-awareness or emotional blocks that are hindering you from fully embracing the messages of your soul. And correcting these misinterpretations involves seeking that clarity through introspection, emotional healing, and self-reflection. By acknowledging and healing emotional wounds, we can rectify misinterpreted soul signs, fostering a more authentic connection with these guiding messages. I want to speak a little bit about chronic pain and soul signs. Chronic pain can often cloud our ability to interpret soul signs accurately. The constant distraction and discomfort makes it really challenging to engage in that introspective journey necessary for decoding these signs. However, it is crucial not to dismiss or ignore them completely. Instead, we must find ways to address and manage our chronic pain disorders while remaining open to those messages of our soul. When chronic pain disorders persist for an extended period of time, they have a significant impact on your emotional and physical health, your cognition, your overall well-being. One approach to navigating this intersection is through self-care practices that prioritize both physical and emotional well-being. By taking steps to alleviate our pain, whether through medical treatments or holistic approaches, we can create space for that clarity. When it comes to the role of intuition and in interpreting soul signs, it plays a vital role acting as the bridge between your conscious mind and those messages that you're receiving. It's through that intuition that we can tap into the inner wisdom, learn to trust our gut feelings, and embrace those messages. Trusting your intuition, the first step is cultivating mindfulness, being fully present in that moment, and allow you to connect with your intuition more deeply. Practices such as meditation really do help quiet the mind, creating space for intuitive insights to arise. And if you're one of these people who thinks, oh my gosh, I can't do meditation, I can't quiet my mind, here at Mighty Zen, we do the practice a little bit differently than what is out there. In fact, it involves laying down completely, trying to get in zero gravity, and a couple other things. So as someone who has struggled with meditation and letting go and calming the mind, quieting it, um, this has been pivotal just to make that shift in a meditation practice. Next is engaging activities such as self-massage tools. They really aid in managing traumatic stress in the body and the nervous system and help promote resilience and, again, align that nervous system for better receptivity to your intuition. Another amazing thing is connecting with nature. Whether it's through walks, hikes, sitting in silence, it deepens our intuitive abilities and harmonizes our energy with the natural world. And if you can't get out in nature, you can bring it in, whether water, candles, plants. Embracing relaxation techniques, such as using an infrared sauna blanket. It is 
an amazing state of calmness in that and enables us to listen more clearly to our intuition, especially when partnered with the meditation. And finally, keeping a journal. Tracking our intuitive insights, our triggers, our patterns, it helps us become more familiar with the language of our intuition and what the messages are that we're trying to be sent in order to receive. Enhancing your intuition is always an ongoing process. It requires dedication and practice. Paying attention to those physical and emotional reactions to any situations or people is one way of honoring our intuitive abilities. Trusting our instincts, even when they seem illogical, can strengthen your intuitive muscles. It will build confidence in your ability to interpret those messages. And surrounding yourselves with supportive, like-minded individuals validates and encourages our intuitive growth creates a very nurturing environment for accurate interpretation of your soul signs. The impact of soul signs no doubt has an impact on your life decisions. With their profound meanings, they have the power to influence your life decisions, positively or negatively. But we want to use them to guide us towards a path of greater fulfillment, purpose, and alignment. By recognizing and interpreting these signs, we gain valuable insights into our life's purpose, making more informed choices that will resonate with your deepest desires. Real life examples of soul signs guide major life decisions, and they're abundant, and they can demonstrate the transformative power of paying attention to these messages. We have all experienced them. For instance, a sudden gut feeling or urge to take a specific action, even if it feels like it doesn't make sense, can be a powerful sign from our intuition or soul that's trying to help us in the right direction. Meeting someone who feels familiar, maybe they're meant to play a significant role in our life's journey. Physical sensations such as chills or goosebumps can indicate that we're on the right path encouraging us to trust our intuition. And by trusting and following these signs, individuals can make life-altering choices, leading them towards a more authentic and fulfilling life. And sure, there are absolute consequences to ignoring your soul signs. Ignoring them can mean missed out opportunity for growth and alignment when it comes to your higher self and your purpose. By brushing these off, we risk veering off our life's true path, our real desires, potentially experiencing feelings of restlessness, dissatisfaction, or a lack of fulfillment. Ignoring them can lead to misconnections, unexplored passions, unfulfilled potential, and so much more. It's critical to listen to these whispers of your soul. Honor the guidance they provide and embrace the transformative power of these signs. So how can one nurture their intuition for better soul sign interpretation? It involves engaging in practice that promotes mental and physical well-being. Supporting your mental health contributes to a clear connection with those intuitive signs. Improving it requires mindfulness, practice, and self-reflection. As I mentioned previously, meditation, it is a very powerful tool for quieting the mind and enhances our ability to listen to our intuition even deeper than you could ever imagine. Journaling, tracking your feelings, thoughts, experiences, helps you recognize those patterns and understand intuitive insights more deeply. Paying attention to physical sensations, emotional reactions, gut feelings can provide valuable guidance strengthening your intuitive muscles. And ultimately, trusting yourself even when your intuition seems to defy logic. Nurture your ability to interpret those soul signs accurately and lean into it. By embracing practices that support your intuition, you can cultivate a higher awareness of that language and have more confidence than you've ever imagined before. No, you're not the only one who can find it challenging to learn to trust their intuition fully. 
doubt and skepticism can plague our minds, causing us to question the validity of those little whispers, those messages that are trying to guide us. But rest assured, you are not alone in this journey of navigating the mysteries of intuition. In conclusion, understanding and interpreting soul signs is a very powerful tool for connecting with yourself and making important life decisions. Soul signs are the universe's way of guiding us and providing messages that are meant to be heard. By recognizing and decoding these signs, you can gain deeper insight into your path and purpose. It is crucial to trust your intuition and cultivate a strong connection with it. This can be done through practices we previously mentioned and just learning to pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, experiences, hold so many valuable messages and lessons from your soul. Remember that soul signs can manifest in various ways, such as synchronicities, reoccurring symbols, intuitive nudges, and it's important to listen to these and honor the guidance they provide. If you have any personal experiences or questions about interpreting soul signs, we invite you to share them in the comments below. Let's connect and learn from each other's journeys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode and you are excited to try those rituals out for yourself. And by the way, did you know that new episodes drop weekly? Now I'd hate for you to miss out. So make sure you subscribe to our podcast page if that's where you're listening or follow along on your favorite podcast platform. And if you're interested in getting access to early releases or other podcast only perks, hop on over to our Patreon page for all the deets. I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to the Soul Signs Podcast, where little hints spark big transformations.